Assalamu alaikum everyone and today we are going to be talking about addition reactions. Now the key to understanding what addition reactions are, we have to think of them as opposite to an elimination reaction. So what does that mean? An elimination reaction is where one or two atoms or groups in a given molecule is being removed, that is eliminated, uh, to form a double bond. Whereas in an addition reaction, one or more atoms are being added to the molecule. So it is an addition of atoms in a given molecule. Here is a rough example of how an addition reaction would look like. We have uh, an AB. A chooses to go to one carbon of the atom of the molecule and B chooses to go to another carbon of the molecule. Often, we would want to understand how to predict the product in an addition reaction. So we have to understand addition reaction. For that, we look over three main points. First of all, what is being added to the molecule? It can be water, it can be hydrogen, it can be hydrogen, whatever. Number two, what happens when this atom is added across an asymmetrical molecule? And number three, what is the stereochemistry behind addition reactions? Take this molecule. This carbon attached to the double bond is attached to only two other carbons, whereas this carbon is not attached to any other atom other than two hydrogens. Now the carbon on the right is the carbon with most hydrogens and the proton from the water we're adding is going to go to the carbon that has the most hydrogens and since we're adding water this is called hydration and once we get this this is called a Markovnikov addition however if it can be oriented opposite while using special reactants where we get the anti-Markovnikov addition. This property of selecting where the proton wants to go to is called regioselectivity. And lastly, let's talk about stereochemistry. Here we have another type of addition called hydrogenation. Here we put some hydrogen on a given substrate and we add a catalyst. Since this is heterogeneous catalysis, the substrate has to approach the surface of the hydrogen. So it goes on like this, and the hydrogens take over the wedge bonds in the double bond, whereas the carbons go farther away. Now the carbons in the final product is on the same side of one another. This means it is a syn addition when the groups are on the same side. Whereas if they were opposite of one another, that means one's a wedge bond, one is a dash bond, then it will be an anti-addition. So that's all there is to it. Thank you for watching. Please make sure to like the video and subscribe and share it to anyone else who might need it. Also make sure to check out more of our organic chemistry content. And thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.